Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you doing? Hope you're doing great. It's nice and sunny outside. We're going to be working on something called the switch case today. So another C++ tutorial. So what you want to do, of course, like always, just comment out the old tutorial file in case you're working on the, uh, on the same project. So then we're going to make a new file here, cpp file. We're going to say tutorial 5. I'm doing this because I forgot to do it before I started recording, but that's okay. Include IO stream. That's what we're going to need. We're going to be doing in main as usual. Uh, return 0. Don't forget the return. And then we're going to do the system pause like I always do. You don't all need it, but if, if your program ends abruptly, uh, you probably want to use this. Um, so there we go. So that's our whole shell right now. So what we're going to be talking about is the switch case. Now, how does a switch case work and what is it? Well, remember the last tutorial with the if else statements? The switch case is similar. It does a similar thing. It, it uses a value it, it, and it checks it for stuff. And there are different cases. But something you can do with it, 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 it just looks a little better if you have like a choice and... and uh, you can choose between six different things and like let's say color right so let's make an int value variable integer uh, call it color choice color choice equals zero all right so let's see let's uh, let's see here so I'm gonna do a C out and tell the user um, pick a color Mm. Okay, all right, pick a color. So then we're going to say, let's say maybe three colors, right? RGB. So one equals uh, R, right? And then we have two equals G and three equals B. There we go. So we have some different choices we can use here and then we're just going to print it out so one two and three I don't know how this program makes sense but it at least it'll show what I want to show uh, and then we'll do a std uh, sin in color choice just like that so then we'll ask the user to pick a color between one two and three and then the user will enter something some value and if it matches whatever is in the switch case, it will do something. So the way you write a switch case is switch. You just write switch. And the input parameter here into this switch function here, uh, the switch case, is going to be whatever we want to see, whatever the switch case will depend on. right? So w we send in our color choice here after we input something. and then it's gonna be kind of sorted in here it's gonna be like we're gonna check with a bunch of values in here color choice is gonna be compared with a bunch of stuff in here and depending on which one it is equal to uh, we'll we'll print something out so case every case is a case basically so in the first case maybe we want to check it with one so if the number here is one we're gonna do something and if the number is, I'm just going to copy paste this, three, we have three different, right? So if it's two or three, just like that. So one, two, or three. And these are three different cases. Now, don't forget the break here. It might be a little confusing, but you need a break here because otherwise, if we come into case one, it will never stop. Like it will just keep going down, down, check all the other cases. But we don't want that to happen. If color choice is equal to one, we want this to happen. Whatever is in between the case and the break, and then we want it to end at the break. Everything else is done. Now there is one more case here, just like our else in our if else statement. Uh, the else is something that happens if and nothing else matches the uh, like if nothing else is true, then the default will run the, this else case or whatever. Well, we'll call it. Uh, we'll not call it. It is called default. And it is basically just a thing that says, okay, no, nothing matched. Let's just print something out or do something here. So I'm just going to print out, see out, 
not a valid choice. So something went wrong. It's not what we were expecting. It's not one, two, or three. It's something else. Not a valid choice. Break. Easy, right? Uh, but in case of one, we just want to do a C out of red color red picked I guess something like that now this isn't really a fun program to make maybe but yeah which actually just shows you off shows off the functionality of the switch case so we have three different cases here red uh, green blue so there we have three different choices and a default now something we're going to talk about some errors and stuff that can happen in a switch case later so please just stay tuned to this video because at least if you want to learn about switch cases because uh, there are some things that can go wrong and some things that you might come across that have some weird error numbers and you don't know what the hell's going on so I'll just tell you those but whatever here we go pick a color so let's say pick one color red pick so what happened was we went in here we inputted a color into this variable it was sent into the switch case and it was operated upon or whatever so it was checked for all these different cases and eventually one of these cases was found to be true actually the first one so case one was found to be true because color choice was one then this happened and then the break was triggered and then everything else was ignored and we came down here now if two was true this would be ignored or well, we'll check it for one but it isn't one so we'll go to two do whatever is in two and then ignore the rest so if I if I just do this again, but I input so I I get I guess you get it. If I re press two, green is gonna be picked. If I press three, blue is gonna be picked. Whatever. So we're gonna just do whatever is in here. But what if I say five or four or something? Not a valid choice, right? Because color choice was none of these three above here. It was just something random. So default was triggered. So remember, you can have a bunch of different cases. You can do a bunch of stuff and uh, yeah you can you can do a bunch of stuff basically so don't just go play around with this and uh, let me just get to the errors and stuff um, so one error that can happen is in your case sometimes you might want to do a bunch of stuff here right not just print something out might you want to do might create a temporary variable in here int a equals 20 and then you want to print out a here you're like okay why well, this is cool this should work right Oh, it crashed. And what do you get? Oh, see, declaration of A, initializer, initialization of A is skipped by default case, whatever. So you're like, what the hell is going on? Everything's correct. And you might be going up here, checking your code. You're like, what the hell? Can I create a variable? How, how noob am I? Like, can I do that? Don't worry. It's not your fault. The problem is that in a case, you can't create variables and stuff directly so because it might not have a break and there might be a lot of errors the scope might not end I don't know some some error like that but don't think about that too much if you want to create stuff in a case you want to just increase uh, you want to kind of have these uh, curly braces around it all right because then it, it should let you create a variable here because then it has a scope kind of I think that's the issue here that it doesn't have a scope without the curly braces so don't think about it too much just know that if you want to do stuff like this you need curly braces because then if I say uh, one we're gonna have our a variable here 20 printed out so this is a very common error that you might get and it's really annoying to kinda debug that and google it so just remember that this is a this is something that you can do so curly braces if you want to create variables and do stuff like that but otherwise you can create the variable outside here and you can operate on it in here in the case so it's going to be accessible in here don't worry about that just remember that and then you can uh, yeah you can just play around with this try try to use different stuff here and, and do different things in here and all that stuff uh, and it should work but it's a really short video I think uh, I wish I given you another example but I think you I think you understand it's just like the if else it's just in a different format I think you can do a little more stuff with the if else but this is like for menus and stuff might be really good to have uh, in my game development series the second one I use the switch case as a menu and probably in the first one as well uh, so uh, so yeah keep learning keep working hard uh, if you think something's really really hard 
please watch it again watch someone else's video you will learn all you have to do is just keep trying to to understand it and it will it will sink in sooner or later uh, but yeah thanks for watching take care and i see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye